Yeah, hello, this is Matthias for MarmorWorld.com and welcome to this Premiere Pro tutorial. Um, today I'm going to talk about beats, about editing to music and in particular about the relationship between peaks in your audio waveform and beats because this is a topic where I during the last month noticed that really even experienced professionals uh, seem to be irritated and here's the thing that I want to show you. When you work with our uh, tool uh, Beat Edit to detect beats, you open a WAV file, it detects uh, the audio pe uh, peaks in it and we can generate uh, markers uh, in our audio file. So let's bring this audio file to our timeline here. And now if we are looking closely where those beats are located, you can see that in some points in time these uh, beats are more or less uh, located at the location of certain peaks. Yeah, like here you can see this beat is exactly located at this peak. But also there are other beats that don't feel to be located at those uh, positions so accurately. So if you're looking here, for example, you can see that here is my beat and a peak is here slightly behind it. Yeah, and here also we've got here our beat and here our peak and also here everything doesn't seem to be so really uh, accurate and in particular if you start zooming in a lot you can see wow it's really not at the same location so here's my beat here's my peak is what is a, uh, a problem here and I get feedback of people complaining well your beat detection is not accurate and it's not so useful for me and uh, so I discussed this with a lot of uh, people with developers of uh, algorithms for beat detection and also with musicians and um, the interesting thing that came out of this discussion is that actually not the algorithm is wrong but the idea is wrong to expect that beats are exactly located at those peaks so the truth is actually that those peaks are just a good uh, like heuristics a good accurate approximation if you have nothing else to guess where roughly a beat could be located but a problem here is that music is never 100% accurate yeah the most obvious case probably is when you're playing music live then as a musician you're not able to really 100% to, to the millisecond accurate hit each beat but you will be a bit earlier for some and a bit later for some so there will be some variation now but also if you have uh, music that is generated synthetically like today lots of the music we hear is based on on midi samples and those midi songs are actually quantized which means the computer corrects for these subtle little inaccuracies uh, that uh, the musician made and so, so you could expect those are 100% accurate but even there those MIDI instruments they are based on sample libraries which again means live recordings and in those samples it turns out I mean they are based on thousands of samples and the peaks of those samples are again not necessarily 100% accurately aligned yeah? and third there are also certain kinds of instruments or like if you have a drum hit okay you can expect that uh, the beat is exactly the, the visual peak is exactly at the beginning of the drum hit but if you have some uh, other sounds it might not really be the case you could have sounds that have more kind of a build up starting slow and having the peak not at the point where you feel that the beat really uh, is but a little bit behind that so in summary this means there are many different uh, reasons why peaks are not always accurately located at those beats and you shouldn't be confused if you see something like this yeah it's perfectly okay and rule of thumb is don't care about how it looks like when it sounds good and so this is actually a song by uh, Dave Bodie, he provided this uh, to me. He's a great musician and also a video editor who actually also presented at Adobe Video World last year. And we spoke there, uh, discussed exactly those issues uh, and he was giving me very interesting feedback about it. And uh, he now also kindly provided me this song. So let's just listen to it. So this is now just a song and you can feel it's not too easy to detect the beats. <laughs> But this is a beat tab pattern detected by beat edit. And you feel it, it makes sense, right? You can hear that the click sounds created by beat edit match the song really accurately and it sounds 
really nice in sync and you don't feel like there is anything off. Yeah, having these peaks not located at those click sounds is perfectly fine. And the other very important thing, of course, is that it looks good. So let's check this. For this, I actually have prepared here uh, some uh, footage. These are the stock footage collection, New York Night, uh, kindly provided by Artbeats. So thanks a lot to Artbeats at this point for providing me this footage for this tutorial. So let me quickly create some sequence markers in order to match this footage to our song. So we click on sequence markers, create markers. And now we have here our beat markers in our footage. And let's say we want to start the footage around here. And we just uh, select the folder with all my footage, go to automate to sequence, distribute the footage at unnumbered markers and click OK. So now a new clip starts at each beat and it looks as follows. Yeah, you feel that it really uh, matches the music, fits to the beat and there are really no inaccuracies to complain about. Okay, so that's it from my side. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial again. Bottom line, if you want to check whether something is accurately matching the beats of your music, don't look too much at the peaks of your waveform. They can really confuse you and make you unhappy. You should really care about whether it sounds good and whether the cuts look good. And if you're the kind of guy who says, but it should be 100% accurate, it must be very accurate, then you should not care about having the markers exactly at the peaks, but you should rather care that your markers have a 100% accurate even distribution. Now that the distance between two markers is always the same. And this is exactly what Beat Edit gives you. So with Beat Edit you will definitely be more accurate than with just looking and aligning to those peaks manually. So thanks a lot again to Dave Bodie for providing the song and also to Artbeats for providing these exciting clips from New York. Thank you for watching my tutorial and if you have any feedback on this, I'm looking forward to see your comments here below. Again, I'm Matthias Müll for mamoworld.com and I'm looking forward to see you in the next tutorial.